Hello there. Who the hell are you? Do you want to capture DOS game footage from an old PC that only has VGA output, but your capture system only has USB Type-C input? Uh, yeah. Now, now, Jimmy, that won't work. Those are two very different and totally incompatible signals. Uh, my name's Matt. VGA is analog and USB-C is digital. It's going to take more than a cable. What you need is a VGA to USB Type-C converter. Oh, right. Looks like we need an intermediary. Something common, cheap, and used by everyone. Like your mum. Hey! Like HDMI. So you'll need two things. A VGA to HDMI converter, and an HDMI to USB adapter. And also a power supply for the HDMI converter. And you'll need a 3.5mm patch cable to route the audio through the HDMI converter. So, four things. Oh, and also an HDMI cable. So that's five things you'll need. But not so fast there, little Timmy. Little? I'm 37. Aren't you forgetting something? That's a USB Type-A plug, and we only have USB Type-C ports. You'll need another adapter. And now you're ready to capture a VGA signal on your USB Type-C computer. Wait, this looks like shit. And the aspect ratio is all wrong. And it can't even display the lower resolutions that many DOS games use. Well, that's what you get for cheaping out on the VGA to HDMI converter. You should have bought a StarTech VGA to HDMI Pro, as that will support all the lower and more unusual resolutions. But you can't plug that directly into your video card. Better find that VGA cable, Johnny. It's mad. Now you're cooking with a piece of cake. Time to try capturing some game footage. Wow, Tommy, you suck. It's really laggy, and my name's not Tommy. Laggy? You're playing offline single player. Look. Okay, that is pretty laggy. Well, it's not the VGA to HDMI converter, so it must be the HDMI to USB adapter. You could get a better HDMI capture device, like something from Elgato, but it would be much cheaper to split the HDMI signal in two. Route one to the USB adapter for capture, and the other into your display to play on. Now that's analog gaming in a digital age. So now you know just how easy it is to capture VGA DOS games on a modern USB Type-C computer. All you need is a VGA cable, a VGA to HDMI converter with a power supply and audio patch cable, an HDMI splitter with its power supply, and two additional HDMI cables, an HDMI to USB adapter, and a USB Type-A to USB Type-C adapter. Oh, and one more thing, Jenny. The StarTech VGA to HDMI Pro is no longer in production, and the new version doesn't support DOS resolutions. So you'll need to find a pre-owned one. Well, that all sounds simple. How about software? That's the easy bit. Just use QuickTime. Although the VGA to HDMI converter outputs in a reduced color space, so you will need to tweak the footage to restore the full dynamic rate. Fuck it, I'm just gonna download an emulator. And get out of my house.